Hi guys and welcome back to RC Workshop. So today we are going to talk about the Tamiya TT02 man truck. This is different. This is a lot of fun. Obviously the usual on-road fun, but it's just totally different using a using it with the truck shell basically. Um, it just feels completely different and everything. Um, basically I've got this ready to sort of race at the local race track. Now and again the hold a truck racing comp there um, so I've got my racing TTO2 chassis and basically got the man truck shell for it um, I have got the original truck wheels that come with the truck which are these they look more realistic and you know usual but I'm into my bit of bling and my chrome so I've got those with my uh, Schumacher race tyres on which is perfect for the carpet racing that they use um, got the LED light kit on there as well as you can see in the windows uh, and the rear LEDs at the back the little red ones there this is a lot of fun like I say just just using the truck on tarmac just feels totally different to any RC car you've used just because the, the the way it is when you you know when you're using it I know it sounds weird but like I say until you've tried it and used it, it it's just a totally different world um, it is a lot of fun and it looks absolutely fantastic um, or I'll just pull the clips out which is a little bit awkward I must admit um, basically these guys the guys who race these at the track and, and, the, and the, the ones people are racing around the world in this sort of series that the, the, the racing at the moment um, your, your Tamiya base, your TTO2 basically has to remain pretty much stock um, which is all part of the fun basically um, so I don't know if you can see on the camera there, so you've got brushless motor on there, a uh, track star and a track star speed control. Uh, I'm currently racing the 13.5 turn motor which is a little fast on the straights but slower in the corners. Um, it's just got a saddle pack battery in there at the minute which is not the usual battery I run. Uh, the usual ones are in the house on charge. Um, standard shocks, no oil filled shocks, nothing special about those. Um, I've done the shaft upgrade and the bearings on it. Uh, it's got a Savox steering servo um, and I control all this from my Samwa MT42 radio which I'll do a separate individual review on um, there you go. really responsive, real quick, real nice piece of kit so I'll, I'll do another review on this later on but for now, let's just turn that off yeah, so like I say, basically the fun part about these is that they run stock and everyone runs stock as well. Um, so they're, they're, they're quite crap handling than that basically around the track, but it's just that that's all the fun of it. Um, basic bog standard chassis, no carbon fibre or anything on there, nothing lightweight. This thing actually weighs quite a fair bit. Um, like I say, you can put whatever electrics in there you want, whatever servos, you can ball race it. You can put a few anodized blue bits or silver bits or whatever you want to do on there to, to trick it out. But basically it has to stay the same. Um, I'm not sure. I think you can put some adjustments on the steering in some places. But again, I've kept mine stock. It's all part of the fun of it, of getting round, like I say. Uh, a totally different kettle of fish. But the, like I say, the truck looks amazing when it's on there. Um, really happy the way it come out, the colour and that. Um, yeah, so guys... That's the truck. Tell me about your if, if you've got a truck or you're looking at truck racing, need a couple of questions answering. I'm not the best person to answer the questions at the mini. Or if you've got any advice for me on what to do in my truck, let me know about guys. Comment in the section below. Um, but yeah, like I say, that's just my truck. That, that's what I'm happy with at the minute, the way it's running. Um, looking forward to racing it on a track, but like I say, around a car park, it's just totally different, total different kettle of fish. Might even stick some drift wheels on there as well if I'm feeling like it. See what it likes. Looks like drifting like a truck around, around uh, all the pillars on a car park. But yeah, guys, please rate, comment, subscribe for more. I'll catch you later. See ya.